Fox News alert. Protests from coast to coast as cities like Rochester, Portland, and Seattle see another night of unrest. Here with Reaction, veteran New Jersey police officer Steve Rogers. Steve, thanks for being here. Joe Biden has said all of this unrest is happening in Donald Trump's America, yet you say Donald Trump is the one to end this unrest. Why do you say that? Well, make no mistake about this one fact that we are a nation at war, a war that Ronald Reagan warned about us in his time and now that President Trump is warning about us in our time. This is no longer a traditional political battle between Democrats and Republicans. This is an ideological war, a war against socialists, a war against, in some degree, communists. So President Trump can put an end to this, and he is the only person standing between the socialists and the capitalists and those who want to take this country down. Steve, let's take a look at some numbers. These are arrests in Portland during the protests. And as you see right there on your screen, more than 600 plus since May, 59 Labor Day weekend arrests. But we've heard, Steve, that these people are not being prosecuted by and large. OK, what good is an arrest without a prosecution? Well, you're absolutely right. And this is why it is very difficult for police to do their job. Uh, arresting these individuals means they're taken off the streets and they're sent to prisons. That does not fit the scenario or the narrative of the Democrat Socialist Party. They're trying to extend this violence out. And it's a sad story. But look, when you connect all the dots, the common denominator are Democrats in office in all these cities and all these states. They've made this into a political war, but it's a war they're losing now because the tide is turning. People are reaching reaching out to the president for help, and he is delivering. Okay, but Steve, will that turning tide force these DAs to actually prosecute people, or are they just going to say, look, we're liberal DAs, this isn't part of our prosecutorial process, we're just going to let these people walk and say la vie? Well, I believe what the president has done, and he's working on deputizing many of these state troopers and perhaps down the road local police into federal uh, law enforcement officers. So if they're arrested by the feds, uh, they're going to be prosecuted by feds, and that takes the power of these DAs away. Right. Presuming, of course, that the U.S. attorneys in those districts do not follow the same liberal mantras as the DAs. That is a big, big factor that we need to pay attention to. I want to go to a, a similar topic, similarly sad in the sense that the violence is not just in Portland and those cities on the West Coast. An eight-year-old girl killed in Chicago as that city sees at least 50 shootings, eight deaths in Labor Day weekend gun violence. Where is the outrage in the mainstream media among the candidates for this loss of life? Because eight people is a tragedy as far as I'm concerned. Well, look, we've not heard one bit of uh, any pushback from the Democrat Party with regard to Chicago for a very long time. Chicago is a shooting gallery. Chicago is a place where people, look, have seen more blood in the streets of Chicago than any other city in this country. But the people are beginning to react and they're rising up. And it's interesting because it's the Dem socialists that have promised so much to so many in that city and delivered nothing. Now they're reaching out to the president. They're looking and they're seeing the president begin to take action in Portland, Seattle. Now they want him to take action in Chicago. And I believe he's going to do that real soon. Look, he's made a lot of promises that the president, interesting enough, he's kept all those promises when it comes to safety of the American people. Okay, Steve, but what does that federal intervention look like? Is it troops on the streets? Not at that point, but it, did, it does look like overwhelming force. The president used that term some time ago. Overwhelming force doesn't mean excessive force. It means overwhelming of law enforcement authorities outnumbering the anarchists and the rioters and doing what must be done. Get them off the streets. Included with that, you would have an increase in intelligence and information gathering to get to those people causing the destruction before they get to the cities. Steve Rogers from the great town of Nutley, New Jersey. Jersey, about 30 minutes over the river here. Steve, as always, we appreciate your time this morning. Jillian, over to you. My pleasure.